Very few people can say that they enjoy a drive to the uh, airport. Usually it's a pain to have to go out to the airport, certainly in places like uh, Los Angeles where I used to live and here in Nashville, getting to the airport is uh, quite an adventure. But uh, today's different. I'm excited because I'm gonna go pick up some fish. Some fish from uh, my, uh, my, my new friend, Andre Fritz down in Texas. Used to be up in Boston, Beantown Aquatics. Now he's down in Texas and he sh sent me a shipment of African cichlids. Let's go pick these, uh, let's go pick these fish up, get them home and uh, get them acclimated in, in the tank. I'm pretty excited. I don't even know what he sent me. He just said, do you want me to tell you? Do you want, me, do you want to be uh, surprised? I told him, go ahead and surprise me. So it's, uh, it's uh, Christmas has come early. Let's get over to BNA to uh, Nashville International Airport and pick up that box from Southwest Cargo. Okay, let's get these uh, let's get these new guys back to the fish room and floated, and I will show you what what I received as I unbox, and then I'll show you again after they've had a chance to settle in. I did work out a um, some protocols with uh, Fritz so they can go directly into my tank. There was some uh, special quarantine steps taken, some uh, medicating that went on so that when I could get the fish, I could put them directly into the tank. So these fish are sort of pre-quarantined and this was discussed with Andre and I feel good about putting them directly in the tank. I need to put them directly in the tank. I need more fish. I need to spread around the aggression and I want to reintroduce that eye biter into the tank. So uh, I need to have a, a little bit of confusion in there to spread things around. So I need to get them all into the tank. I don't even know how many fish he sent me or what he sent me. But let's go ahead and get home, uh, unbag, open them up, and uh, let, let's, uh, let's see what's in there. Okay, so let's take a look at, uh, at what Andre Fritz sent to me. And here is the box. He's using boxes from Aquahaus, Aquahaus Gloss, who is a German uh, provider of very, very high quality fish. Uh, these are not uh, Aquahaus fish. These are some of his uh, locally bred, but he is expecting to get a huge shipment of Aquahaus fish in. So, so, hold, so hold on for that and I will, uh, I'll have a date on that, I'll let you know. Let's go ahead and crack this open. Nice heavy thick styrofoam, sealed shut. On the lid, Turn off aquarium light, dim the lights in the room where your tank is set up. Do this before you move your fish. So for our purposes, because I'm filming, we do need to have some light, but the aquarium behind me is dark and they will be going immediately into an aquarium that is not lit. It says here, float the bags for 15 to 20. Remove fish from the bags, place them in the tank. Do not add any of the shipping water to your tank. This is sometimes referred to as a flop and drop. You don't want to add that water. It's very polluted with uh, whatever it is that fish was secreting. Usually shippers will uh, not feed their fish for a day before they ship them so that they don't release a lot of waste in the shipment. And uh, I suspect he's probably doing that. Add aquarium salt and stress coat to your tank. This will help the fish to adjust after being shipped. Interesting, interesting. But doing that to a 300 would be quite a lot of salt. Leave the tank lights off for a few hours. Okay, I'll do that. Any questions or issues, contact us immediately. He provides a, his own direct email and a phone number you can text. All right. All sounds good. He included some uh, real nice uh, Beantown Aquatics stickers. Make those out. Beantown Aquatics. A couple of them, I guess. Uh, a newer, a newer one, and this I think is this is the 
original old school uh, sticker. Beamtown Aquatics. All right. Got a little paper. I don't think I see heat packs in here because you don't really need heat packs when you're shipping with these kinds of temperatures, but there is an aluminum encasement. And the first thing I look for is I look for water in the bottom of the container and there is no water, no water in this container at all. So the fish, the bags uh, held. And the first first fish out of the bag is an almost six inch Fusco, one of my favorite all time fish. Just recently lost my Fusco, I suspect to old age. Now he double bags everything with a very thick kind of plastic and instead of using rubber bands or tying it, he uses metal clasps to hold the bags together which is very impressive. You can see that there. There's a metal clasp on the outside and the inside bag. This is a six inch big spot. That's a beautiful fish. Big spot hap. Not sure if you can uh, really make them out, but you'll, you'll see them all later as they get settled in. Protomelus spilonotus magung magunga, five and a half inches. And I hope that these these guys don't have a hard time because some of my fish are pushing are pushing 11, 11 inches or more. But if you add if you add a bunch at once, like I said, it's it spreads things out, and so nobody gets really selected out. Ooh, a deep water, a, over a five inch deep water. Deep waters are beautiful. They're a plastidochromis. So I'm a little concerned that he's gonna have enough swagger. So I'm gonna keep a real close eye on you, buddy, but you are beautiful. Okay, deep water hap. Oh, he's jumping in the bag. That's a good sign. Very, very pretty. Deep waters are gorgeous. A Taiwanese reef, oh, another protomelis here, a good size, uh, 5.7 inch, almost six inch Taiwan reef. Of course, every cyclic tank should have a Taiwan reef. Again, we're, we're in a, into a protomelis, and I have a, uh, a very nice, a very nice fire hap in here, and a, uh, and a red empress, which are in that same family. When you have those kind of fish, you want to go ahead and uh, provide them with a little bit of uh, veggie in their diet, the, uh, the, the protomelis. All right, Otto Pharynx Long Nose Nova. Look at this guy, Otto Pharynx. Otto Pharynx, of course, are, you know, that, that video I just put out on fish that have that luminescence. Uh, Otto Fairnick's family definitely has that luminescence. He already looks beautiful and he's in the bag, so. All right, let's get them, let's get them floated. Uh, let them relax, calm down. I'll turn these lights off, let them chill, let the other fish kind of check them out. And then I'll uh, scoop up that, that uh, eye biter and I'll, and I'll put him in as I'm opening up the bags and hopefully that's gonna create enough, enough confusion, enough confusion that everybody's gonna be okay. There's some lining on here, you can see this, along with this sort of space blanket and some paper, so the packaging is rock solid. And these are boxes, of course, that came over from Germany uh, with some, some Aquahas goss. You can see it's very thick very thick styrofoam, I mean, like wood. So uh, if you want to contact Beantown Aquatics and check them out, he specializes in African cichlids. Beantown Aquatics used to be in Boston, that's why the name Beantown. 
and you can check them out at beantownaquatics.com and you can also write to beantownaquatics at gmail.com and he's at 30, uh, 317 South Kirby Street Unit 201 in Garland, Texas. That's 317 South Kirby Street Unit 201 in Garland, Texas by appointment only. So call first and he still has uh, that Boston area code 508-565-8337. Check him out, Beantown Aquatics. We're gonna be working out a, uh, a discount code possibly, we'll see, for all of you. More on that probably in the Saturday live stream. And I will come back into the fish room later today and we'll do a little footage of the fish once they've calmed down, settled down, and, and look good, okay? Thank you, my friends. And uh, we'll pick this up in a few hours after, after the lights on the tanks come back on on their normal timer, timer schedule. I'll talk to you in an hour or two. So here we are the next morning. Everybody seems to be doing okay. There's the Taiwan Reef. Very small compared to the rest of the fish in this aquarium. I mean, the ones that came in were over five inches, like this Fusco. But compared to the other fish, which must be pushing nine to 12 inches, he looks teeny. They're all congregating here on this side. There's the big spot. Very pretty fish. I think that's the uh, long nose. Auto pharynx. Long nose. Possibly. Here's the deep water in the back corner. I'm keeping the back corners of the tank dimly lit. And again, just an area where fish can kind of chill and be calm. Still nobody interested in this uh, cave here. Nobody's using it. I'll probably end up pulling it out. You can see I put the eye biter back in. He seems to be behaving. Doesn't mean he'll continue to behave, but for now, aren't you pretty? That long nose. Taiwan Reef. A young, uncolored up Fusco. When they're young, they're actually very pretty. They have a, like a brown little brown and specks of blue in the body and then they start to get their adult colors he'll probably start coloring up in about oh I'd, I'd, I'd predict about six months they'll start to show some of those nice Fusco you know the brighter blue face nice to grow one out there's one right there of the new guys. There's one right there. Otto Pharynx long nose, I believe. Taiwan Reef. There's a deep water in the back here. See if you can make them out. It's called Deep Water Hap. Playing in the bubbles. They're following me around. Oh, there's a big spot. That's a big spot. That's a new fish. Let's see if we can get them from this angle and see them a little better. They're following me around, always looking for food. And they were just fed, so you're going to see a lot of particles floating around. It'll be cleared up in a few minutes. But look who's back in the tank. There's the eye biter. He's been behaving. He's done a chase or two, but nothing to be really too worried about. So I think my uh, my plan worked. I mean, I kept him out for a while, but I don't think the timeout did anything. 
really, but but I think the addition of all these other fish, six additional fish, has made it confusing enough. There's one fish, I think this one here, whose name I can't even pronounce. Beautiful guy. There's the Fusco. I love young Fuscos, the patterns on their body. Here's the deep water. Came out from the back corner. A little concerned about the deep water because they're very they're pla they're a plastidochromus. They are a little bit of a placid fish and they but uh, seems to be okay. So thank you uh, for watching the video and thank you Andre Fritz of Beantown Aquatics for this uh, collaboration. I'm very happy with the fish. They look great. And Andre is having a grand opening. I have the, uh, the flyer. I'll put a copy of the flyer here. He sent me a copy of it on my phone. And this is uh, a grand opening. They're going to have some giveaways at uh, Bean, Beantown Aquatics. This is in Garland, Texas. And at 317 South Kirby Street, Suite 201. That's 317 South Kirby. Street Suite 201 in Garland, Texas, and that's September 28th, 2024, noon to 4 p.m. So check out the grand opening for Beantown Aquatics. This is their new sticker. I'll be putting this one on my on my uh, refrigerator along with all the other stickers. And stop on by, and you can always contact Beantown Beantown Aquatics directly. I'll put the contact information in the description, but it's... So, thank you, Andre. I appreciate it. And uh, I look forward to doing some more with you, possibly picking up that sand diver, that linny, and a few other fish, that uh, the gar, and a couple other fish. Maybe we can do some of that with the German strain. He has a German strain of cichlids coming in that have come in that uh, apparently are breathtaking. So be sure to check those out as well. Uh, share your comments, tips below. Certainly let me know if you've uh, done anything with Beantown Aquatics. And I'd love to hear about your experience. And if I'm able to um, set up some kind of a promotional code uh, with Andre, I'm not sure if he wants to do that or not. That's his call. But if, but if he does, I'll go ahead and add that to the uh, description below uh, or to the first comment to make it easier to see. All right. Thank you for tuning in, my friends. And... Uh, I'll see you in the future, possibly at a Saturday Cichlids and Coffee live stream. That's every Saturday at 11 a.m. Central. Great group of fish keepers get together for about an hour and talk about everything related to fish, uh, from filtration to uh, different species to everything. And uh, a great group. And also, if you like the channel, be sure to consider becoming a monthly supporter, a Patreon Garage Gang member. Starts for as little as $3 a month helps in more ways than you know. And of course, you watching, subscribing, giving it a thumbs up, that's the best way to help in the long run. Thank you, my friends. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Welcome to their new home. All right. Thanks for your help in getting them all out of the bags. That was awesome. Let's go take a walk. Mm -hmm.